Two cards are dealt from a shuffled pack of ordinary playing cards. Find the probability that at least one of the two cards is an ace. So there's two events here, which lends itself towards using a tree diagram. So the first event is the first card to be selected. And then that one does not go back into the pack. A second card is then selected. So these are our two events. On each event, we're only interested in whether it's an ace or not an ace. So I'm using A to represent ace, A complement for not ace. Now in a pack of ordinary playing cards, there are 52 cards and four of them are aces. So after choosing the first card, if it was an ace, then it's still possible to get an ace on the second pick because there's enough of them. So an ace on the first go could give you an ace on the second go as well, or it might not be. So there's all the possible events. Now let's put some probabilities on. So the pack of cards, 52 of them, four of them are aces. So on the first selection, there's a four in 52 chance of getting an ace. That could be cancelled down to one in 13. Again, on the first pick, the chance of not getting an ace would be 48 out of 52. There's 48 cards that are not aces. That could cancel down to 12 out of 13. Now, because we are dealing two cards from the shuffle pack, the first card is chosen. It does not go back into the pack. And then the second card is chosen. So what happens on the second go depends on what happened on the first go. So on the second pick, we're down to 51 cards. So each of these possibilities here, we've only got 51 cards remaining. If we got an ace on the first go, that means there's only three aces left, three out of 51, which could be canceled down to one 17. However, there are still 48 cards that are not an ace if we got an ace on the first go. So there are 48 cards, not an ace, which again, you could cancel down to 16 out of 17. Notice how in each case, the two probabilities on each section should add up to one. So these should add up to one, so should these, and also the next two should also add up to one as well. So this is actually a conditional probability. The probability of getting an ace on the second go is dependent on what happened on the first go. So moving down to the lower section now, if we did not get an ace on the first go, then there are still four aces in the pack, but we're down to 51 cards. So the probability of getting an ace on the second pick, given that, we didn't get an ace on the first pick, is 4 out of 51, which can't be cancelled down. Likewise, there's 47 cards left that are not an ace. And again, these numbers check that they should add up to 1. Let's see. Now we're looking at the probability that at least one of the two cards is an ace. So there's four journeys through this tree diagram. Three of them involve getting at least one ace. So we could have ace, then another ace, ace, then not an ace, or not an ace, then an ace. So these three journeys all satisfy the requirement of the question. Probability of at least one of the two cards being an ace. However, it's gonna be slightly quicker if I just work out the one journey that we don't want, and that'll be this one here, not an ace followed by not an ace, that's the only one we don't want. I'm gonna work out the probability of that and then take it away from one. So the probability that we get no aces, multiplying as we work our way along the branches will be 12 out of 13. So not an ace on the first selection. And then again, not an ace on the second selection either.
that's the chance of getting no aces. I'm going to work this out and then take it away from one. So now to answer the question, the probability of getting at least one ace is going to be one take away the chance of getting zero aces, which is 33 over 221.